the pigeons. Just to, to bring you up to speed, I received a message, a text yesterday whilst I was presenting the show. It was a text from Martin in Port Carlisle. I'll bring you the details of the text then. It read, Fern, I would like to know if any other listeners to BBC Radio Cumbria watch Doctor Who on Saturday night and are of the same mind as myself. I was there at its birth, and I'm sorry to say that on Saturday night, I think I witnessed its death. The acting was poor, and the storyline was very weak. Peter Capaldi is not the right person to play the Doctor. It uh, goes on the text message from Martin in Port Carlisle. I would be interested to hear from any other listeners to BBC Radio Cumbria their views on the choice of the current incumbent, Doctor Who. Well, we put Martin's concerns out there on the BBC Radio Cumbria Facebook page. We will get to some of those comments before 10 o'clock this morning. If you just want to read the details of the text again, if you'd like to share your thoughts via Facebook, facebook.com slash BBC Radio Cumbria. But firstly, let's speak to Tom, Tom Spilsbury. He's the editor of the official Doctor Who magazine. Tom, thank you for your time. Hello, Kevin. Yes, no It's interesting, isn't it, when we talk about Doctor Who, how quickly you can polarise an audience. It's serious business, isn't it? Isn't it just? Peter Capaldi, in your humble opinion, is he a good Doctor? Um, well, um probably not surprising to you that I, uh, I I think he's a great doctor, yeah. But we've only seen two episodes of him, of course, yeah. And and the storylines they've had have been very much about um, him finding out what kind of doctor he is. So mm. um, I think this is going to carry on developing over the next few over the next few weeks, um, particularly you know um, this season, and then you know we'll see exactly what kind of, uh, of doctor we have. When the first episode aired just two weeks back, you are quite right in saying we're only two episodes in, for goodness sake, give yeah. Capaldi a chance here. But uh, uh, obviously, it, it, it's a show that is keenly watched, and uh, it's incredible. We put that text message up on our Facebook uh, screen, and it was just incredible to, to actually see how divided listeners to BBC Radio Cumbria were on Peter Capaldi's performance, just the opening two chapters. When the first episode was aired a fortnight back, people were then sharing their thoughts via social media. Many thought that the episode lacked any real plot. Some didn't think Peter Capaldi was right for the role. Others completely loving it. Why? Why do you think some people aren't warming to him as the Doctor? Is it simply the case of him still discovering the character personally? Well, I think you've always got a case where um, you, you're going to have some detractors. You can't please everyone. Um, but, I mean, you know, that goes without saying for, for anything. But um, I do think it, we're being presented with a doctor that isn't necessarily easy to like straight away. I think that's quite a deliberate decision that, um, that he's going to be a bit difficult you know that's that's something which um you know we can already see in these these storylines that maybe he's not quite so um sort of cuddly and bouncy in the way that matt smith's doctor was so that kind of contrast perhaps some people have, have found that more off-putting but um you know I, i've seen just as many comments from people that uh, that uh, uh, have enjoyed the the, the, the the sort of throwback to to, a, to an earlier era of Doctor Who, where perhaps the Doctors weren't always quite so uh, knowable. So, you know, obviously, there's no accounting for taste, as they say. But it's, um, I, I think, uh, while people are talking about it, that's probably a good sign because you know, people are going to be, you know, having these arguments, which means they're still watching and they're still, uh, you know, very heated about it. Good, bad, indifferent. As long as we're talking about the Doctor, that has got to be a good thing. You've gone some way in answering my next question. He's already gone on record interviews that he's given. Uh, he intends to be a, a far more serious doctor to his predecessors. You mentioned there Matt Smith. Matt Smith was almost a, a comical, nutty professor type character. Peter Capaldi has already gone on record saying it's going to be a far more edgier, darker doctor that we can look forward to. In fact, one of the interviews he gave, I read, almost an uncomfortable watch from time to time, his character that can't necessarily be a bad thing. Well, I think it's uh, whether, whether you like it or not is is one thing, but I mean, I think it's a deliberate decision. Clearly, um, so this isn't something where it's you know it's, they've, they've just accidentally <laughs> you 
you know, had done some of these things. Um, and I think the, the, the key thing is to see where this takes us, you know, that, um, that this isn't just something which is, which is here for, the, for last week and this week. It's, it's going to be an evolving process. So, so hopefully it will intrigue people enough to, to see, you know, where we're going to end up. Peter Capaldi, the interviews that he's given to date, he's already made it quite clear where he wants to take the character. No doubt his character will evolve. Obviously, you've got the actor playing the character. He's going to interpret. But obviously the scriptwriters, they'll have a fair say, won't they? Yes, of, of course, you know, and, and Stephen Moffat is the main scriptwriter on the show, um, and I'm sure he's got plans for this year and, and into next year as well, you know, for, for this version of The Doctor. Um, I mean, obviously, you have to, uh, you know, keep things flexible because things might change for all sorts of reasons. But, um, you know, and the important thing, I think, is that each individual episode, you know, has an exciting story and, and new situations. I mean, I think last week's episode where they went inside a Dalek was genuinely a new idea. You know, we had hadn't seen um, that aspect of the Daleks before. And given that they've been around for 50 years, you know, it's quite tough to sort of come up with a new angle on them. Mm. So I think that was something which was, um, you know, really uh, a very inventive uh, take on it. Um, now, of course, you know, some people will think, oh, well, that, well, that, that wasn't very good. But then, <laughs> you know, you go back to 1966 when Patrick Troughton took over from William Hartnell the very first time there was a change, you know, you, you could point to very similar comments back then, you know, this new doctor, I don't like him, you know, oh, not the Daleks again, you know, that they've been around for the last three years. I think, um, you know, these are the things which make Doctor Who what it is. Tom, there are rumours going about that this will be Capaldi's one and only season playing the Doctor. Do you think that will honestly be the case? Uh, no. <laughs> Mate, he's going to be sticking around for yeah, a while he's, he's, longer. He's, he's, he's been talking um, in, in the interview we did with him about next year, so I think, he's, uh, I think he's on board for that. Wonderful. Tom, thank you for joining us this morning on the show. I will get around to some listeners' thoughts on the new Doctor in just moments. If you're following the conversation this morning via Facebook, facebook.com slash BBC Radio Cumbria, what do you make of Peter Capaldi? We're only two episodes in. What do you make of his interpretation as the new Doctor Who. Once again, my thanks going out to Tom.